Welcome everyone and glad to have you with us from williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Hockey and all of his friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 10 team in the country, the Missouri Tigers, taking on another team from the SEC, the South Carolina Gamecocks. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Gamecocks will kick it away first. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Missouri's offense will take the first swing of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors, and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. They'll leave it with him. Jukes his way for more. Makes the stop at the 32, but he picks up 10 on that play. You want to get the crowd out of the game? Make it boring. Pound the football. Run the football right at them. It takes, it takes the juice away. It takes that sauce away. You don't get to those third down situations where they get absolutely bonkers and it's hard for the quarterback to even think. Just run the football right at them. To the air. It's Cook. Makes his connection. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. You've got an opportunity right now. You've got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Good job on defense, getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Wants to throw on third. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just punt it away and see if you could regroup because this environment is hostile. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And it'll be down right there. The Gamecocks offense taking the field first chance we have to see them today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, the, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. The Gamecocks in the hurry up. Strike complete. He'll be stopped at the 27, but it's a 15-yard gain. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. 
He's loose. The 40. The 20. Inside the 10. And he'll take it all the way. They couldn't bring him down. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing it at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with some flair, a 73-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. They go to the ground. Nice move to keep running. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, running back on the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And how about the timing of the linebacker on the blitz to get in the backfield and get the tackle for loss? Is there anything better for a linebacker than to run on a blitz and nobody's home except the back? Such a great feeling when, when the Moses parts the Red Sea and the hole opens up and you go fill it. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Quickly to the tight end. Well, you get the completion, and now it's decision time for the head coach, right? This is a massive one, too. Fourth and short on your own end of the field. What do you do? So Missouri will have to put it away. That last howitzer was nice. How about another one just like it? Fair catch called for and made. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. And the Gamecocks want to move quickly. Toss sweep to the right. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. That really nice job by the defense. Understanding the situation. We know they like to run the touch pass. Great job selling out, seeing it, bringing those guys right down, flying in the space, getting the fast, speedy wide receiver on the ground. Nice third down stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. Starting a drive like that really builds confidence. First down from the 45. Mm -hmm. 
Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. They'll go to the ground. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anymore. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. It's a draw. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that and play shoot and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Takes the easy throw in the flat. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And that's kind of a lot of today's running game, right? Spit the ball out. Quick, get it to your playmakers in space. Get positive yards. It's uh, Instead of running the ball a couple yards up the middle, now you just spit it out wide. And a lot of times if you break a few tackles, it could be even bigger. They'll need to get this one to the 31 here on third down. They go to the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. They'll look to pin him deep. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. The Gamecocks headed quickly to the line. Trying the left side. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. And the Gamecocks line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Burden. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. You want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Nice move to pick up yardage. He makes the stop at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 15, and they've got it in plus territory. 
And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see nowadays they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, it'll be hard to stop. It's a first and 10 from the 42-yard line. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man on the right. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. Running back searching for a hole. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Hands it off. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. It's a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. And the ball's free, deep in his own territory. Maybe some nerves on that return, but a fortunate bounce, and they'll retain possession. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. You just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Give to the running back. Breaks the tackle. He gets it all the way out to the 19-yard line. They pick up a six. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not a really huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, yeah, you know what? Let his talent do the rest. The Gamecocks moving quickly to the line. Looking to pass. It's Sellers. Shoots it to the left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He's off to the races. Touchdown, South Carolina! And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. Quick strike offense on that three-place scoring drive. And they top it off by going up top. 81 yards on the touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. He leaves it with his back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the linebacker showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Burden. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and off. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. And they just kind of sneaked that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Looking to throw, it's Cook. He finds his man. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them over. play action grab near the marker it's Miller and he'll be marked down but he's got enough to move the chains this coaching staff has really done a nice job marrying the play action game to their running game that looked like that was going to be a run everything in that play said they're running the ball downhill at the last second quarterback pulled the football and he was able to complete the throw Quick touch pass to the receiver. Still running at the 35. And that one looked as if it might go all the way, but they picked up more than 40 yards before the touchdown saving tackle. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball because he is dangerous in space. On first and goal, Missouri will try to strike Pater. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Missouri! The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they cut the lead to 14-10. They marched 78 yards down the field, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. 
Back and forth we go on these last couple of drives. David, everybody moving the ball. Man, these offenses are in a rhythm. Everything they're doing right now is working, a lot of scoring. This puts a lot more pressure on your offense, Palmer, when you walk on the field. And at this point, too, David, which defense can break serve, right? Who can get a stop? That's what it feels like is going to be the determining factor in this game. And the Gamecocks are in the hurry up. They'll try the run. Trying to tackle this guy's a business decision as he gets it up to the 29. And it's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And he can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense where now they got a, a manageable situation. They'll try to run for it. The Gamecocks brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Well, they picked up that first running the football. That's good news for an offensive line that really has been getting pushed around and bullied in this game so far. Let's see what happens moving forward. And the Gamecocks have it with a first and ten. Fires to the middle. And he's brought down, but a flag is also down. Pass on the third, 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 third. So instead of having a first down, they'll back it up. The offensive pass interference that defenses everywhere wish would be called more often. And it's a fumble on the play. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. The give to the left. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down one. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Looking for a man. It's Cook. Gets it out quickly. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows, he can run slants, he can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. He'll try to pop the draw. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front of the point of attack. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. It's good, easy call for the refs. Well, sudden change situation. You've got to give this defense credit. Their offense just turned it over. They held tight. They didn't allow a touchdown, and they forced their opponent to take a field goal. Nice job. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. 
How about it? How about the old toss play, right? QB catches the ball, tosses it to the running back. Listen, it's got to be thrown out in front of him so he continue to run. And then that offensive line has to do a really good job of getting the edge so he can get north and south. You used to see that play a ton back in the day. You just don't see much of it anymore. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. Offense took a little bit too much time at the line there. Now on second down. Scanning the field, it's Sellers. Looking left. A strike downfield. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. The Gamecocks racing to the line in the hurry up. Going to the ground. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. Got three on first down at second and seven. Trying to impose their will with the run. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's looking deep, and it's caught inside the 30. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. His drive was clicking along, but now it's second and 14. The give to the back. They get him stopped after a pickup of five to the 28. Listen, I know that's not a huge game. Those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back in every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. A little less room to work with now. The ball's at the 28, and it's third and long. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Gamecocks! And they take it in for six more points. If you're able to move the ball in a drive like that, the most overrated stat in football would be field position. Agreed, and I think confidence is big right now after that last drive. To be able to flip the field like that, not just do it, but go down and score a touchdown. Running and throwing for this offense now moving forward in this game. That last drive is going to pay big dividends. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yard. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Missouri wants to go fast. They'll give it to the back. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. And that would be the definition of first down success, putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs, like nice first down execution. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. And here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw, it's Cook. Fires to the big fella. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate creating some distance there between him and the defense. They'll throw it on first down. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. And sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, defense won that rep. Good coverage. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. Wants to go up top. Grabbed over the middle. It's Burden. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncoverable. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. And the defense, they got him at the 27. Well, the offense is trying to stay aggressive, right? You just came up with a huge play, and right away you go back to another pass. But you got to do a better job protecting your quarterback. Can't give up a sack there. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his man down the middle. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. Splits the upright. It's good. So they get the field goal, now about to kick it away, and you get a stop here, and you go to halftime feeling really good about things. 
and he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Blasted as he lets it go. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, on offense, no doubt, right? You've had success. You're throwing some tutties. Why not keep throwing it? They're going to keep being aggressive. You're going to have to do a better job, though, keeping this quarterback standing up. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. To throw, it's Sellers. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football, no PI, able to swat it away passing. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Trying to turn the corner on the right. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Yeah, this offense is going to try to run the ball and do it in a variety of ways. You'll see zone reads. You'll just see straight downhill running. They'll get the toss play going as well to try to keep this defense on their heels. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. Just drives it between the uprights. So as it turns out, a two-play drive results in a field goal. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the chance to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Missouri will put a foot to it to start us in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Wide out in motion. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. And David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three.
defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. And the Gamecocks will hustle to the line. Looking to throw it, Sellers. The quick out. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. What do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here, and this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he... And he breaks into the open. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. Man, what a huge gain. And this offense is so frustrating to defend because you've got that guy who's not a quarterback. He's a running back. Call him what he is. Makes the big play. Chews up a chunk of yardage before you ever know what hits you. The Gamecocks are moving quickly down the field. Leaves it with the running back. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle, it's Harbor. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Now on second and goal. Back to pass, it's Sellers. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This is one of those momentum turning points. If this defense can force a field goal attempt, that is a victory for them. a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We've got to figure something out. We've got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Getting set for the point after. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Out of the shoot, quick toss to the right. 
This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. Going to run it. It's Carroll. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Missouri gets to the line quickly. To the air, it's Cook. He's right on target. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught on the outside, it's Burden. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Pulls and fires complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. The Tigers are on the move. Got it behind the line. It's Cooper. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. And now on second down for this offense. Off the play fake. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you can tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Hard running there. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. And this offense has got it all working, right? It's just been tough. This, this defense is on its heels, can't figure it out. A bunch of plays in a row now, a bunch of success. This offense is doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. Defense is going to need to do something different to try to mix up this rhythm. Wants to throw on first down. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Love the grab just past the first down line to allow the drive to continue. So that's a nice play by the QB and receiver there. And the Tigers come to the line in the hurry up. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Back to throw, it's Cook. Good timing on the quick out. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. It's hard to run a route or get lost near the sidelines and understand exactly where you're at. Nice job 
understanding I'm starting to get close to the sidelines, throttling down a little bit, catching the football, making sure I'm in bounds. They'll go to the air on third and short. He's got it. Touchdown, Tigers. A Lazarus-like comeback is underway. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. to attempt the try. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Off the play fake on first down. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. I gotta be honest, I thought this tight end was gonna have a much bigger role in this game. They wanted to get him the football early and often, but after that drop here in the second half, he still doesn't have a catch. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Leaves it with the back. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing game. The Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. They'll run for it on third and short. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Pound it, pound it, pound it. I might not have that pretty run-pass ratio of 50-50, but if I can run the football like this consistently, if you're not going to do anything about it, you want to be a great offensive coordinator, keep calling the run. And the Gamecocks are flying down the field. Here's the handoff. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tempo for the offense. The toss to the outside. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Finds a man on the left. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Curl route seems simple, but when you time it like that so it's right on him, man, that's a tough play to stop. And give the receiver a lot of credit, too, because he knew where the sticks were. He got his depth on the route, and then he came back to the football. All young receivers can learn from this guy right here. Come back to the ball and help your quarterback out. Quick handoff. Oh, it's loose. Oh, the offensive first absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. 
I don't know if it was luck or aggression or just a fortuitous bounce, but at least they've got the ball back. Well, one thing I do know, Reese, this running back has got to do a better job with ball security. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win this game. They're very lucky they were able to jump on top of that. Caught behind the line. It's Hunt. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs management. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up. It's a third and two. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working. That last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. The Gamecocks have it with a first and 10. To the ground with the back. Smashes through the tackle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs that make these plays really go for big yardage. And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break those big, long runs. And at least they keep him out of the end zone. He's on the three. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll do it himself. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. That's the end of the quarter, and South Carolina has the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, South Carolina! Precision blocking up front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punt, ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. The give to the tailback. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. That's a really good job by the defense. Wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional. Put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Back to pass. It's Cook. Fires to the wideout. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Man, 
those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that, you're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Snagged in the middle, H. Cooper. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short gain. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Wide open downfield. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. The Tigers want to crank the tempo. He's going to pass. I'm running out, and he goes down at the 34. That is a nice job by the defense in a sudden change type situation. The play before, you just gave up a big completion down the field. So you got to try to stop the bleeding right away up front. Your pass rush comes through for you, and you create a negative play. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. Dropping back, it's Cook. It's complete on the right side. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. They'll run play action. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Good discipline defense on that play. It's third and long, right? You're not going to bite on a play fake. Nobody's going for that. Everyone knows it's a passing situation. They use their speed to get to the QB. So Missouri will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. give to the single back he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a loss of three you know when you're running counter those offensive linemen crash him down they've got to be able to pin those interior d linemen they couldn't get it done there they gave up too much penetration and that led to the tackle for loss last play was a near disaster now dealing with second and 13 power football with the run it continues to be a long day as they are just swarming every time he gets the ball. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride in stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. 
They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Throws for the tight end. And they fail to hook up on third down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Looking for a block. It's Burton. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Offense trying to keep them off balance on first and ten. Grabbed in the middle. It's Burden. Oh, look out! The 10! Touchdown, Tigers! You thought they were done! They're not! They're back, baby! An unbelievable timing with the quarterback and wide receiver. Get it to him in his hands, right on his frame, where he can run after the catch and do some serious damage. And that's why he's so dangerous, because of that ability after the catch. For these DBs in this game, you've got to tackle the reception, because if you don't get him down, he's taking it to the house. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Russell. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own. So you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it, you can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. The Gamecocks in the hurry up. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. And as an offense, you've got an unconventional call. You're trying to get your receiver the ball using pre-snap motion, but you've got to do a better job up front blocking. Couldn't get it done, and now it sets up fourth down. And the Gamecocks will try to pin them back with the punt. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. They put it in the end zone the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to really take control of this game. You can feel the momentum shifting. If they were able to take the football here, drive it down the field, and score again, David, they would have all of that momentum on their side. And there's nothing about momentum that you can quantify. Like, I, I don't understand it, but once it gets going in one direction, a lot of times it's so hard to swing it back the other direction. The momentum is real, and they got it. Catch in the middle, it's Burden. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. 
You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They run the reverse. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And you got to love this if you're the defensive coordinator because your defense stayed disciplined. They didn't over-pursue to the running back. They stayed home, played great with their eyes, and they were able to make the tackle. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. To the air, it's Sellers. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Trying to make magic with his feet. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. It's nice for this D coordinator when he puts his nickel package out on the field because that nickel player he's got who subs in is, is good in coverage. He's also aggressive. and He does a nice job blitzing, and he can play the run. They can spy the quarterback. There's a lot of different tools this guy's got to defend against a mobile quarterback, and I think you saw a little bit right there in that nickel package now setting up fourth and low. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The incompletion brings us to second and ten. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. And that play had no chance. And you sell pass, and you want to sneak the draw in there. The idea is to get those defensive linemen over running up the field, but it's almost like they knew what was coming, and they shut that down quick. Yeah, and so if you're running the play, it's not going to be a great look defensively. As a quarterback, then, you've got to do a real good job of trying to sell pass, and I think he just hurried it a little bit too much. That play didn't look like it was going to have a chance anyways, but the quarterback, he's got to be a better actor on those draw calls. So Missouri will have to put it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball first. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down ends this football game. The Gamecocks want to move quickly. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. 
Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. At this point, the defense just has to bring the house to try to stop the run and get the ball back, even on second and 13. The hand to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Now facing a third and long. They'll leave it with him. Fighting off the defender. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Gamecocks will punt it away on fourth down. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Dropping back, it's Cook. He's going up top here late in the game. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Cooper. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Defense backed up in this crowd trying to will them to get a big stop late. Finds a soft spot in the middle. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Well, we've seen this guy come up with some huge throws in this game, and already on the drive, he's thrown a couple of completions. He's got them in a rhythm. This team believes they're going to win this game because of this guy playing the quarterback position. He's going to pass on second down. Fires into the end zone. And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. Well, obviously here in the fourth quarter trailing, they're going to be throwing the ball, trying to get back in this game. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. They're expecting them to throw it here on third. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. It'll be a run on third and short. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. Yeah, third and one, you know what time it is. It's about the big boys up front. you got to give me a little bit of space, a little crack. You just can't give up that penetration so my running back can fall forward just like that and get the first down. Timeout called by the defense. 13 seconds to go. This game will come down to this. A field goal try to save them. And this field goal might not lock the game away, but you'd be able to hear the tumblers clicking. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. And the quarterback will just drop to a knee. 